Hi, I'm Dave Sidden, Executive Director at Wildlife Images. I'm here today doing the, my favorite part of my job is the animal releases. Oftentimes we get in animals that are pretty banged up and many times they completely recover and we could take them out and release them in the wild. And that's such a positive, amazing experience. Well, this particular guy is an acorn woodpecker. They're a fairly common woodpecker. There's a lot of misconceptions about woodpeckers. People see them out there hammering on their tree and think, the woodpecker's killing my tree. In actuality, he's trying to save your tree because basically these guys feed on insects that are under the bark. So they'll pound on the bark, then they'll listen, and if they hear the uh, grub underneath the bark, they'll change their location and drill a new hole until eventually they locate the grubs, pull them out. So oftentimes when these guys are out there pounding on a tree, it's a badly infected tree, and they're trying to get all the bad guys off from under the bark to save the tree. And sometimes these guys will actually take the holes in the tree and put acorns in the holes, and of course that encourages the little critters to eat the acorn, and they come back later and have that as a snack. So this acorn woodpecker has been with us since a little baby, and he's completely recovered and ready to go out in the wild. So let's let him be free. Flying pretty darn strong. Well, woodpeckers are very specialized animals, and uh, the woodpeckers have very special adaptations. They've got what's called a zygodactyl foot. They have two toes in front, two toes in back, great for grabbing the bark. They also have a really, really long tongue for sensing the grubs under the bark. In fact, their tongue works like a tape measure. It wraps all the way around their skull, goes back into their left nostril. So it goes all the way around the skull and out through the mouth so they can have a very, very long tongue like that and utilize it for finding things underneath the bark. Now, if you'd like more information about how to become a volunteer, a donor, or a member at Wildlife Images, or maybe consider us in your estate planning, you can go to the Wildlife Images website, wildlifeimages.org, log on, get all the information you want right there. So we'll look forward to seeing you again next time on another episode of Walk on the Wild Side.